Hey guys, so let's do the shag haircut, one of the classics. So as you can see here, we're just going to take a one inch section straight the way down the middle and we're going to start with layering up the top first and we're doing like a rounded shape, just getting a little bit longer towards the back. So after we've completed that, we centralize the parting and then everything over to one side we follow the same guideline and it's all kind of over directed towards the middle as you can see here working right the way through the length so that's one side complete now you can see i shift that bit ahead to give me a strong guide change my body position and then again working from short to long all the way through elevating everything straight up and over to the center the reason we're doing this is to maintain length on the perimeter and just to get that heavy internal layer which you need for this haircut. So just cross checking, put it back into the middle. Now it's about framing the face. So we take a section from about three fingers back to behind the ear and then we drag the hair across using the points of the scissors. We just start to refine the shape break it up around the face so that we get kind of like a curved baseline. So here I'm freehanding the baseline to keep it soft, to keep the movement inside and then now just refining to add some more texture. So we kind of blasted the hair off and then we're just working through again in a controlled manner, breaking into those ends, chopping them out, really allowing the haircut to move and not being too restricted really, using air to blast through it. And then again, visually, just working on the outline just to make sure that we have some softness and it kind of works with the face shape. So gliding the scissors through to keep it super soft. Just worked with a little bit of blow drying just to kind of pull around the shape. I hope you like it.